Hi everyone. I'm Apurva Gundimalla from the University of Texas at Austin. Today I'll be talking about our paper Aligning Data with the Goals of an Organization and its Workers, studied in the context of designing data labels for social service case notes. Nonprofits compose 10.2% of the total US industry and play a crucial role in connecting people in needs with human services. These services span across various domains such as healthcare, child welfare, housing assistance, etc. In the current non-profit environment, social workers are required to collect multiple types of data in different formats for different purposes. These data constitute financial details, client satisfaction, outputs representing services provided and outcomes representing the impact of the work. The data is collected in multiple formats such as free text notes, tags or labels attached to the free text notes and surveys. This data collection is driven by the push towards data-driven decision making in various aspects of running the non-profit organization. For instance, client satisfaction and outputs data is utilized for internal program evaluation whereas external agencies use the outcomes data for performance evaluation. Similarly, financial details and outputs data is used to quantify organization's funding requirements, while social workers use the outputs and outcomes data to improve their decision making. However, social workers perceive certain data collection as an additional burden, resulting in inaccurate or incomplete data collection. Specifically, data that is collected for organization's performance and resource needs, it's considered a task away from direct social service taking social workers time away from actual client conversations although prior research sought to understand the challenges in data collection little work explored solutions to improve it for social workers a lot of hcr research exists to improve data collection in domains such as crowdsourcing but crowd work is different from social work because the data collection is their primary responsibility unlike social work where it's an additional task Our research aims to explore ways to improve social worker data collection focusing on data collected for performance and funding needs. To provide an overview of our study, we explore the data collection process in the context of homeless case management through a multi-stakeholder perspective. We collaborated with a partner organization and interviewed multiple stakeholders to understand their needs. Following the interviews we conducted design feedback sessions to explore solutions to improve data collection. We partnered with a government led non-profit in a mid-sized city in the US. They have been serving people experiencing homelessness over the past 2 decades. They provide services in intensive case management and walk-in services. Intensive case management involves case workers curating long-term plans to achieve housing and living stability. We interviewed multiple stakeholders to understand their diverse goals and challenges of data collection. These stakeholders involved case workers who are clinically trained professionals who interact with individuals on a daily basis to provide services. There are also managers who supervise case workers and are responsible for program performance and bringing in funding. The organization also had program analysts who investigate the case management program and the data systems to improve their efficiency case workers collect two types of data during each client interaction the first is free text notes used for referencing during decision making and the second is relevant tags selected from a predefined list to later quantify the services in this research we focus on the challenges with data labels as these are the primary source for performance and funding reports we utilize speed dating method for design feedback sessions where we presented design ideas to participants using storyboards to gather their reactions delve deeper into their true needs and evaluate the proposed ideas we brainstorm on 15 design ideas based on identified needs ideas shared by participants and analysis of case notes We used storyboards to represent the 15 design ideas that allowed rapid visualization of the possible futures. 
I will now highlight some of the findings from our research. We discuss our findings in three key themes, namely aligning data collection with case management goals, comprehensive representation of case workers work in the data labels and usability of data labels and data labeling process. Given the limited time, I will be sharing highlights from the first two themes today. In the first theme, we aim to align data collection with case management goals. We identified that caseworkers perceive disconnect between labeling data and providing care significantly reduce their motivation affecting the data labeling. As quoted by caseworkers, they considered it not useful or part of their case management and are unsure how exactly it's useful for the direct line service. To address this challenge, we examined two different approaches. In the first approach, we sought to bring value of data labeling to caseworkers' daily tasks. We explored this through an idea of client analytics dashboard to help caseworkers identify client case trends and determine personalized strategies. The storyboard for this idea depicts caseworker Susie looking for a quick overview of the client details before meeting them. Susie uses the client analytics dashboard and identifies that the client reached their maximum limit of birth certificate orders for the year. When the client comes in requesting for a birth certificate, which is a requirement for majority of their housing applications, Susie makes effective decision and explores alternative housing options for the client that do not require the certificate. Caseworkers strongly emphasize that if these data labels function better, then there would be more of a push to record them while the client is there. Program analysts and managers underscore the value of using data labels to analyze client behaviors, particularly for new caseworkers who often deal with information gaps on the client in the initial stages. In the second approach, we aim to increase awareness about the value of data labeling. We explore this through a different dashboard that correlates data labels to funding and organization performance. In the storyboard, caseworker Susie utilizes the outcomes dashboard to explore how the extra time she's spending on data labeling is valuable. She sees that other organizations are referring clients in need of identity documents to her organization because the data labels clearly indicate their success rate. Susie is now motivated to make sure that her work in coordinating across departments to successfully retrieve identity documents is continuously recognized and is reaching the people in need. All caseworkers strongly agree that it is necessary for the organization to demonstrate the value of data labeling. However, some caseworkers and program analysts favor dashboards, while others advocated for in-person training sessions to understand the utilization of data labels. In the second theme, we aim to enable comprehensive representation of caseworkers' work in the data labels. We identified that caseworkers are dissatisfied with the current data labels as they consider them inadequate in representing their work. To share a quote from a caseworker, I might deal with four different agencies in 30 minutes and send referrals and continue care. However, all of that work gets lost as far as getting captured. To address this challenge, an approach we explored is to enable capturing of casework complexities in data labels through redesign of the data labels with increased granularity. For instance, Caseworker Susie, who deals with unsuccessful birth certificate orders for a client for the third time in a row, is able to capture her additional efforts utilizing new sub-label that is attempted orders under client birth certificate label. These granular labels enable effective capturing of the caseworker's efforts. Caseworkers strongly resonated with the need to capture their casework efforts. They also considered granular labels to enhance filtering through case notes. Managers and program analysts asserted the need to reform certain labels into broader categories to balance between efficiency and representativeness. In the second approach, we aim to address the challenge of changing relevance of data labels over time by streamlining the addition and subtraction of data labels. 
When caseworker Suzy identifies that she has renewed food benefits for several clients but do not find a data label to capture these efforts, she is able to raise a request to add this data label through a streamlined process. The manager of the organization who receives similar requests from other caseworkers makes a decision to add food benefits renewal as a new data label. Caseworkers state that when a new need comes up and caseworkers are putting in so much effort, being able to record immediately would be valuable. Program analysts were uncertain if caseworkers would proactively suggest labels, while managers emphasized that streamlining the data label updates would preserve knowledge on the changes and help in long-term assessment. So what do we learn from these findings? Analysis of our findings suggests implications for designing effective data labeling, which we describe in four categories. In the interest of time, I will provide an overview of the first three categories today. Firstly, we propose that assistive tools should be designed to enable utilization of data labels for the informational needs of caseworkers during client interactions. Data labels that facilitate improved assessment of client situations will empower caseworkers to make effective decisions and motivate their active participation in recording labels. Moreover, it cultivates accuracy in caseworkers' labeling as the effectiveness of assistive tools hinge on precise labels. Secondly, we advocate that systems should facilitate shared control between caseworkers and managers in the creation of data labels. We envision a scenario of dual benefit in which caseworkers engage in data labeling that informs their client assessments and also specific needs of managers and funders. A collaborative formulation of the data labels is pivotal to facilitate the varied use cases of data labels for multiple stakeholders. Approaches such as streamlined communication channel for iterative label decisions can enable stakeholders to collectively develop measures that support their diverse objectives. Lastly, we emphasize that qualitative and quantitative data should be made accessible to all stakeholders. We present a novel perspective on the efficacy of quantitative performance data in providing internal insights for caseworkers. Priya HCI literature emphasizes on drawbacks of data quantification. However, integrating quantitative data, particularly through analytics, can drive comprehensive insights into case attributes and client behaviors, supplementing qualitative information. We further highlight the constrained access of qualitative data for stakeholders beyond caseworkers and recommend exploring solutions such as structuring case notes and advanced information search. We hope our design implications facilitate the development of data collection practices and tools that align with the goals of various stakeholders, leading to efficient and effective data collection in social work. With this, I would like to end the presentation. Thank you for listening.